my channel my name is Charlotte if you have not tuned in before then this channel is predominantly about myself and my family so my husband Harvey and our daughter Paisley and even my mum who's called Lorraine and all of our trips to Walt well, Disney World, Disneyland Paris, Disney Halls and some Q&A's, weekly vlogs, you name it we got it. Check out my playlist down below if you're interested in any of that stuff. So myself, husband and daughter Paisley have just returned from one week in Florida. We did both Walt Disney World and Universal Studios Orlando and I thought I would sit down and show you guys what we bought on our trip. So we went on this trip with all good intention not to spend too much money, not to return with suitcases and suitcases full of merchandise like we would usually. Um, so it's not the largest haul, it's not massive but I do have some bits and bobs to show you. So I thought I would start with the things that were actually free. So you can pick these things up free from Walt Disney World and I think there's some bits from Universal as well. So first and foremost, what everybody picks up, which make great souvenirs, are the park maps. So I've got maps here for Magic Kingdom, Hollywood Studios, Epcot, Disney's Animal Kingdom. I've got Epcot Flower and Garden Festival kind of passport books where you tick off what you eat around the world as well with the stickers. I have got Universal maps, loads of maps. Keep them as memorabilia because if it changes every year, the parks change, the rides come, rides go, and yeah, I love to have at least one of those from every trip that we go on. Next up, we have Paisley's Wilderness Explorers book from Disney's Animal Kingdom. Now, this is the first time that we've ever played this game. It's free, you sign up in Animal Kingdom at one of the Wilderness Explorer stands. They have kind of these badges on and you, you can tell where they are or just ask the cast member and they will guide you to a Wilderness Explorer cast member. And you get one of these books and you have to visit all the different Wilderness Explorer stations and at each station you will collect a sticker. Now sometimes you have to do tasks and challenges to get your sticker. Other times you just have to listen to what that cast member has to tell you about um, an animal or a habitat or, or something and you collect the stickers in this book. It was so much fun. Paisley is only three but she loved this game and the books don't expire so we didn't finish ours. We were only there for a week. I think we went to Animal Kingdom twice but only picked this book up on the second time. So still plenty of wilderness to be explored and I'm gonna take this with us on the next trip we go on in October. Similarly for children in Epcot, they do the Kidcot Fun Stop and there's one of these stops available in every pavilion in the World Showcase. We stopped at the American Adventure Pavilion. They give you this Ziploc bag, write the child's name on it, they have colouring stations and then they give you a ticket for that country that you're in. So we only got one, <laughs> but we do plan to do this next time as well. So we got an American Adventure postcard type thing with some information on the back there and then a sticker. I'm not sure if there's a little book that goes with this. I'll have to have a look through because I honestly can't remember. But again, though we only visited one of the Kidcot stops, it was a lot of fun. We sat there for about 20 minutes. Paisley was able to just sit and colour and be a kid instead of walking around a theme park, as fun as that is. Um, she could just chill out for a little while, which gave us all a bit of a break. Now, during our trip, we had one night at Port Orleans French Quarter, which, by the way, if you've never been, is gorgeous. Such an amazing resort. I walked in and fell in love with the place. Absolutely loved it. I can't wait to stay there for a whole trip one day, which is definitely something I hope to plan in the future. We got to our room there, and we had these Mardi Gras-type beads waiting for us which was a nice surprise. Paisley loved them and was wearing them for one afternoon. 
and yeah they're pretty so we brought them home again just for a keepsake really and the memory of them another little memory is this big thunder mountain railroad uh, certificate from the magic kingdom now we were given this because the first time we went to Big Thunder Mountain, Paisley wasn't quite tall enough to ride. Went back later in the trip and she was, so by some miracle she grew a couple of centimetres during that trip or learned how to stand up straight and therefore was tall enough. So when she wasn't tall enough she got upset, they gave us this which was then in essence a fast pass. We could return when she was tall enough give them this slip and we could go down the fast pass queue which was amazing and it cheered her up as well when she was too small to go on and I will keep that forever. Heading back over to Epcot we got this flower and garden festival wristband gift card. Now we loaded this up with I think $30 and said that was all we were going to spend when we were eating around the world at the flower and garden booths. And it was good, just a good way to keep track of your money and not spend too much, know what your limit is. Even if you're on a two week holiday, you could put a bit more on or put, kind of top it up as and when you go, just to keep in control of things there because those booths are expensive and they're also very yummy. So there's a lot of things that you're gonna wanna try. Room keys for Universal. We had a night at Cabana Bay Beach Resort and I always keep room keys because again, I keep everything. I'm not a hoarder by any means, but when it comes to our Florida trips, I like to keep all the memories because they're just so special to me. Similar to magic bands, I have so many magic bands upstairs, it's unreal. Haven't got them down here with me to show you, but we just got standard magic bands. I think me and Posey had pink and Harvey had blue. We've got all the colors, so yeah, I keep those as well. And they work. I think for two years after your trip, you can keep using them. Just make sure they're all linked on My Disney Experience and you'll be good to go. We got various stickers like this fancy Nancy Clancy one, loads of Mickey stickers, bus driver stickers, all sorts. Disney hand those out like hotcakes and we love them. Next up is probably our most extravagant purchase, purchases, there's two of the trip and those are our Walt Disney World and Universal Studios Orlando annual passes. So, so happy to be pass holders again. You'll note there's only two there because myself and Paisley upgraded our tickets to annual passes. Harvey did not. Um, me and Paisley are back in October and Harvey is not coming on that trip. I know if you watched our previous Florida vlogs, you'd have seen us mention our next trip, our next trip, our next trip. We were due to stay at Port Orleans Riverside. Harvey is no longer coming and the whole trip has changed. Um, he'll be back in future on the trips. He just needed a break. He's a bit uh, Disneyed out at the moment, but myself, Paisley and my mum are going back and we upgraded those tickets because it works out that we save money, basically. The Universal Seasonal Pass is about $10 or £10 more than a 14 day park to park ticket. So if you are going or if there's a chance you might be going more than once during a 12 month period, then go ahead and get the annual pass. The Walt Disney World ticket works out about the cost of two sets of 14 day tickets. So again, if you're going twice in a year, it makes sense. It also helps with the parking fees at all the Disney parks. It makes it free, so it helps quite a lot because I think it's $25 now per day and you get 10 or 20% off on food and merchandise in selected venues. So yeah, perfect. So happy to be an annual pass holder. Now, those annual passes did result in some freebies as well. For example, the Flower and Garden Festival pass holder magnet. We got Daisy Duck and we got Pluto. They're so cute. And because myself and Paisley have got annual passes, we got two each. Similarly at Universal Studios in the annual pass holder lounge, they were giving out magnets as well. So we got one of those each. And then apparently they give out these badges as well or buttons uh, once a month and the design changes each month. So we got these ones. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Next up, I'm gonna show you the food and snacks that we bought in Florida because you can't go to Florida without coming back with loads of American candy and goodies because it's so good. 
if you watched my haul last October, which probably would have been our end of November, then you would have seen we had a disaster last year. We bought back so many goodies because we were on the dining plan that we just had so many snack products left over. Uh, we bought back Rice Krispie cakes, all sorts of really, really good stuff. And the dog ate them. We were storing all of our things that we'd bought in the spare room. Um, Harvey forgot to close the door one day and he broke in or he learned how to open the door and he ate a load of our good snacks. He was absolutely fine. He's greedy. He steals things all the time. He's a beagle. Would you believe he did it again this year? So we didn't have as much food so it wasn't quite as heartbreaking but yeah. We think that this year he actually jumped up and opened a door when we were out because he wanted to get to these goodies so much. So some of these things aren't in the original packaging. I think we probably walked in on him because he hadn't eaten that much of the sweets. Uh, but yeah, here we go. First up, we got some sour Skittles because I think I told you guys last time, they are so much better from the US. They have like a sugary coating and they're the most sour sweets ever to live seriously they're really good I had one. you did next up we got my all-time favorite the sweet tart sours love them so much I we went through about two bags of these whilst on holiday we had them in the room and these are one of the ones that that dog got his hands on so they're in a, a zippy and that's all we have left that's all we managed to salvage or all that we've not eaten already ourselves as well because we've been pecking at them. But yeah, they're so yummy. They're so sour and so good. And I love them so, so much. We're gonna have to ration them now. Like have one a day, taking turns. Not even that. There's hardly any, they're nearly all gone. We got some Walt Disney World sour belts, the Buzz Lightyear and Mrs. Incredible ones, which are also super yummy. And then we got a Disney World lollipop, which Paisley was obsessed with the whole trip. She's not actually allowed lollipops because she's three and they're dangerous, but she wanted it. So here it is. I'll probably eat it, but don't tell her. <laughs> and then from Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe, we got a Mickey Mouse's birthday celebration cake pop. Probably should have eaten it by now. I can't see an expiry date on it, but yeah. That sounds yummy too. So we did go to Walmart on our trip, which is where we got some of those sweeties from. And we also picked up some Crest 3D white toothpaste, which again is something I would have shown in my last haul, but it's so good. It actually works at whitening your teeth. So we're stocked up on two of those to tide us over until October. I had to go to Bath and Body Works at the outlet. I had seen Eleanor Dreaming, Luke and Rich with so many cool things from this shop and they seem to love it and go every trip. So if you guys are watching, I 100% blame you. I think I'm gonna get a new addiction to this store. Now I didn't buy too much because we were trying not to buy too much and also only had hand luggage, so couldn't buy too many liquids. Had we have had full cases, this would have been a different kind of story. Things I did get were these wax melts. I got pineapple mango, we got champagne toast, and did I get any more? I did. I got white gardenia. I've already used some of this pink one, and it's super yummy. It filled the whole room, and yeah, loved it. I then got some hand gels, and I think they were like, five for ten dollars or five for five dollars or or something it was so reasonable i just went with the deal that was on so I picked up five of those i've got champagne sparkle fiji white sands pineapple colada raspberry lemon sorbet and sunshine and lemons and they are lovely I anti bag my hands all the time, so to be able to do it with something that smells so good is amazing. Love them. So we'll move on to what you've all been waiting for, and that is the Walt Disney World merchandise. So we didn't get too much, but we did get a few things, and I got a couple of really good buys as well. So let's start with those. First of all, we got Paisley this Figment t-shirt which is from the Epcot 35th anniversary. 
and we love Figment. It's such a special ride for us as a family. We always go on it, Percy's always singing the song. So yeah, that was perfect. So that was actually from the Character Warehouse outlet and was 9 dollars It's a small, it looks quite big for her still, but she can wear it. It can be baggy or a nightdress, but we, we couldn't leave it behind. We had to have that. Also, whilst at the outlet, I picked up this lounge fly bag, which is a Disney Parks exclusive, and it's the teacups! I've always wanted a lounge fly bag, and this is gorgeous. Paisley helped me choose it, and I wore it on our last few days in the parks and absolutely loved it. It's the perfect size, it's got a little pocket at the front, and this was $35, which is unreal. Unreal. These are about 80, 75 to 80 dollars. So over the absolute moon with that. But that wasn't the only bag on offer, and we couldn't choose. So also there's this millennial pink sparkle one, which is all sequins, and it's stunning. I love it so much. I'm such a girly girl. I love pink. I love sparkle. So this is perfect for me. It's got this wallet section at the front there. It's got the same um, innards as the last bag. I've still got all the, the packaging in there. I haven't used this one yet. Yeah, such a good buy. I cannot wait to wear that around the parks on our next trip. This one was supposed to be $85 and I got it for 40, so half price. Love it. Something else I also got two of were mini ears, so one I bought on our trip and one a very good friend of mine kindly sent me before I went as his friend was in Epcot and I didn't know I was going there but needed these ears so he managed to get these picked up and sent to me so thank you so much if you're watching I am in love with these flower ears. I had so many compliments from people walking around the Disney parks in these. I'm not sure if they knew that they were available at Walt Disney World or whether they thought they were kind of a small shop or custom made because so many people stopped me and said they liked them. And I love them. I think they're one of my favorites that I own. So yeah, perfect. I also got the second pair of Flower and Garden Festival ears that were available, which are these Violet Lemonade themed ones. I wasn't going to buy them. I knew I liked them. I'd seen them online beforehand and knew I liked them, but they were down to something ridiculous, like $15 and then I got annual pass holder discount as well. So these were a steal. The next thing I have to show you guys are the pins that we picked up. So as I mentioned before, we went on Big Thunder Mountain and it was Paisley's first time and she absolutely adored it. So we got a pin for Big Thunder Mountain. We got this from the store over in Frontierland and again, it's mainly for memory's sake. Um, Paisley thought it was really cool to get a pin to show what she'd done as well. So yeah, that's the reasoning behind that one. And Harvey always gets a pin as well for our pin board and he chose this Avengers A from the Marvel franchise this time. He's a big Marvel fan. If you've watched our vlogs before, you already probably know. He really likes Marvel and all those films. So yeah, that one is perfect for him. Something else I picked up at the outlets is this Alex and Annie bangle. I'll get it out so I can show you guys. This was so cheap as well. I don't actually remember how much, but I remember thinking what a good deal it was in the outlet. So if you're considering going to the outlets, definitely do it because you can find things for um, a lot more reasonable prices than you can in the parks. And sometimes they even have the same things that are still available for full price in the parks. So worth checking out there. So the bangle I picked up this time was a Minnie Mouse flower and garden festival one. And I'm well aware that this is the 2018 design and this actually says 2018 as well. But I was there in 2018 and I liked this at the time but never picked it up. So some little bits and bobs Pacey chose from the outlets were one, this Festival of the Arts sticker book. Now we weren't at a Festival of the Arts at all but we picked this up just it's just a little colouring book and some stickers and I think it was 99 cents, so that's nice. 
Similarly, there's a food and wine festival hide and squeak activity there. Just a little something for her to play with. We did get it for the plane on the way home, these two things, but she slept and never got around to using them, so she can play with them now. We are home. We also got basically this Walt Disney World transportation bus, which is super cute. It's got Mickey on one side driving, Goofy having a wave on the other side, and off they go. She sat and played with that for quite a while when we were in queues or restaurants, so yeah, that's cute. And last but not least, we have got Fancy Nancy Clancy! Paisley's favourite character at the moment. She loves the TV show on Disney Junior. We met her at Hollywood Studios and Paisley also had her face painted opposite the meet and greet because they were doing that as well. So yeah, we had a bit of a Fancy Nancy day that day. And that is what she chose. So that's everything that we bought on this trip. I just said we weren't gonna buy too much and looking at all the things I'm surrounded in, we probably bought a little bit too much, but you do get carried away with the Disney magic. Um, I can't help myself. I'm happy with all this stuff. I do think we got some really good deals as well. So over the moon with these purchases. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a big thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Let me know what your favorite things are to buy when at Disney Parks or even over at Universal or just in Florida as a whole. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video and I will see you real soon.